driveway it's a saturday night you look like a million bucks wearing that dress i like hi friends um i am so tired i'm gonna come sit down here and talk to you just finished editing yesterday's video and uh oh man i'm so tired so yeah i mean i explained just in words i thought give you a little bit of an explanation when we got home yesterday from dropping max back off at his owner's house i just still could not get out of that grog so i climbed into bed and jason went to work out and the other girls we had eaten dinner well they had eaten dinner i hadn't i wasn't hungry so i got into bed for probably two hours i just really did not feel good i had a headache i think i slept a little bit but i'm not, I'm not too much but i woke up and i got oh, i got up and had some vegetables. I'm like, I gotta get like something in me. I got some vegetables and some chicken in me. I watched The Bachelor. Very disappointing. I mean, I like the girl he chose, but I wanted Daisy and I wanted Daisy as the new bachelorette. You know, life life struggles. But um went to bed uh and but didn't fall asleep until about 1 30 because I had taken basically two naps. <laughs> so I struggled to go to sleep. Fell asleep probably just after 1.30. I remember looking at the clock like, oh, should I take melatonin? And then I don't remember anything until 3 a.m. And Jason's dad called. Like normally he just sometimes is unaware of time and he's a night owl. And so we'll get a text message from him. But he called us at 3 a.m. And so we instantly were alert. And he was taking himself to the hospital at 3 a.m. because he had pain in his chest or heart he couldn't really tell and he had had this weird little pang in his chest and it just didn't go away and it was worse last night and he, and we're like you know talking to him on the phone at 3 a.m and we're like why are you driving yourself to the hospital then and he's like because there's no one else to drive me he's like i feel fine and he's like so jason was like hey dad you have to like text me the second you get to the hospital and like are going in so i can make sure you got there okay otherwise i need to come and find you and like make sure you get there no, 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 I'm fine. It's not like that. I'm fine. I just, I'm laying here in bed and it's uncomfortable and I, I'm worried about it. So I'm going to go get it taken care of or get it looked at, I guess. So me and Jason laid there awake for like a half hour waiting for him to call us and tell him, tell us he got to the hospital okay. Because he actually came over to our hospital, which I don't know why, but he did. He came over to our hospital instead of the one that was by his house and he never called us. He never let us know he was at the hospital, but then we fell asleep for an hour, and then he called us at 5 a.m. <laughs> We're like, what are you doing? You know, there's no way you just barely made it to the hospital, and he's like, oh, yeah, sorry about that. Forgot to tell you that I... But he had been at the hospital for two hours, and an hour and a half or so, and they had done some tests, and they, you know, his heart was fine, uh, didn't... I don't really know exactly, because he, he talked to Jason, and... Jason didn't turn the volume up very much, but it seemed like everything was okay. And then, but they gave him a medication and it was, we were so tired. We were so groggy. And so I don't know that Jason understands what ended up being the problem. Cause there clearly is a problem. He got medication for it. So I actually probably should text Jason's dad and ask him how it's going today. Uh, so we went back to sleep at, so that'd be 5 a.m. And then Jason's alarm started going off at 6.30 to get up to go to work. And he's like, there's no way. I heard him like say that there's no way. And so he snoozed his alarms like three times, but that woke me up all three times. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. And so by 6.37, by 7 a.m., I'm wide awake, but like my body is exhausted. And I still have this like lingering, you can hear it in my, in my, in my voice. That's the, it's like this lingering cloud and lingering stuffy in my nose, um, and so I'm like, I just need to rest. And that still felt gross and whatever. And so I got a cough drop, got some water and laid and listened to a podcast for an hour just to get my, and like close my eyes and everything. Just like laid there to try and get my brain to like get tired enough to go back to sleep, which I did. I turned the podcast off and went back to sleep and woke up at 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm probably 9.30. No, I didn't. No, there was more interruptions. Ashley's alarm went off at 8. So we made sure she got up. I got up twice to make sure she got out of bed. And then Jason got up um, finally and went to work and got her out of bed. And then I fell asleep again. So it was never consistent sleep. It was so annoying. And so I got out of bed at 10. Just, I'm dragging. Um, but it is 12 o'clock now. And so I've edited a video, had breakfast. 
straightened up the house, um, ordered the goggles that I have been meaning to order. I've ordered them before off of a different website and there's no way to get them on time from that other website. And so I just had to find something very similar on Amazon. And I have nothing else to do for the day. But this friend of mine, uh, she watches, so hi. <laughs> but we also see each other almost every week. She's also going on a trip. She's taking the exact same flight as we are to Vietnam. And then we head on to Japan. But she's staying in Vietnam for, with her family. And so uh, she's, you know, she's like, I haven't done that flight to Vietnam in, I think it's been 15, 16 years or so since she's been back to Vietnam. Um, they lived in China for a couple years as well. And so anyway, she's excited to go to Vietnam. She's excited for me to tell her what the flight is like. We're on the same airline, literally exact same time of the morning. And so I'm going to be able to tell her, okay, this is when you need to fall asleep. This is what food is being served on the plane. Um, I'm actually hoping to find out from some of the other cheer moms who are already in Japan how their flights went because um, they also did that same flight to Vietnam and then up to they went to Tokyo um, to like because half of the Ashley's group is on spring break this week and so um, they went ahead and went early and are doing Tokyo Disney and all that kind of fun stuff which we're not doing. Um, maybe I'm just supposed to rest this week and not do too much so that I can make sure I get over this cold and which is fine because I'm all packed up I can take you upstairs this is there's nothing exciting going on down here um, but I'm gonna take you up and give you a little second behind the scenes um, you'll see the packing videos soon I have filmed them as you probably know I'm just posting them in a bit um, I'll give you a little behind the scenes I don't know if it's really changed that much well it kind of exploded again Chelsea came into our room at some point this evening, this morning, and wanted her blue sweatshirt. Mom, I need my blue sweatshirt. So she opened this bag. She opened this bag. We kept seeing the blue, but those aren't the right blue sweatshirt. And so this is kind of what exploded. <laughs> All of that. We got these at Costco yesterday for airplane snacks and any leftovers. I'm going to stick in the suitcase to have when we're in Hawaii because they're great for like along the day you know put it in your beach bag or whatever so yep here's a little sneak peek i'm hoping that ashley in fact does get palms she's getting new palms tomorrow night at practice which i'm curious how practice is gonna go because half the team is gone so i think she'll just have the other tumbling class and the other squad that is not going to china china why the heck did i say china no idea so maybe i'll see if abby wants me to just get her airplane snacks for her at Target. I'm kind of just bored. Kind of just bored. I am tempted greatly to clean this girl's mess up. She's big into building things with cardboard. I don't really know why. She's like big into making these little fake, I said elf. She's making like fake makeup containers. I don't know why, but she'll sit here and she'll cut and glue and, and tape all these different things. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's so funny. How did she get a picture of that? This is a little box of, I don't even know what that is. SOS power, tower. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so she just makes these. But it absolutely destroys the whole room. It gets all over the floor down here. I already vacuumed this room twice this week. And then it bleeds over to my area. <laughs> I can't the thing with this kind of travel I, and me being over prepared over early is that we get to a point where we can't pack anything else until like quite literally hours before we're going to leave. I can't pack any of the rest of my electronic bag so it just sits here open until I'm done filming and editing my final video and then I'm going to pack the cords and the you know the power things and the storage anyway all of it and then we leave and so so much of it I know where it's going to go in the suitcases that's the perk is that I have taken it up fit it in where it goes that's why I'm not moving anything from those suitcases because I know exactly where things are going to go that aren't currently in the bags so it's kind of the downside of like packing early I guess because you get to a point like this where you can't do anything else so I purposely even didn't grab my bathroom bag like my makeup bag out of the suitcase because <laughs> I don't want to have to repack it again. So no makeup today. And I have itchy watery eyes. 
it's like a combo of this cold and like allergies so oh fun times i looked up the weather for japan maybe i'll no we'll just go up front the weather in japan i'm curious what it is today out here because when we get to japan i can't tell you the dates but the day we get there and the day after it's going to be rainy. I want to see what the temperature is. I love hearing the birds. Um, 48. It's 48 degrees out here right now. And it's sunny. You can see it's kind of sunny, right? I don't know if you can see that. Hang on. It's blue skies for the most part. But 48 is a little chilly. You need to have a sweatshirt on, pants on, socks on. <laughs> but it's going to get to 55 degrees the whole time we're there in Japan. Out of nowhere, the snow stopped, the rain stopped, and yeah, see this side of the house? This is why I didn't know what way to show you. I'm gonna have to pull the blinds. You can see there's no blue skies over here. <laughs> so I was kind of getting worried about the cold weather, but even here, what's it doing up there? Even here, like 44, like it said it was today. And blue skies versus like the gray skies, it still feels chilly. And so you still want to have like a t-shirt and then like a sweatshirt. And Jason, like he gets extra cold and so he likes to have like another shell layer over the top of that. So he's going to pack that. But the sun is literally coming out the day after we get there. And so um, the sun makes you feel so much warmer. So I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that we're going to have really, really good weather while we're there. And it's 80s and blissful in Hawaii. It's wonderful, especially when you stay on the south end um, down in Poipu. So, um, because I'm bored, I think maybe we'll just go to Target. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I shouldn't. I don't. I don't need anything. I need to get the kids airplane snacks, but they want to go with me to do that. So I won't be picking those kinds of things out. And I don't want them to just have sugar. I'm actually hoping we still have time, you guys. I wish it was like safer to like give you an actual timeline, but it's not. Ooh, strawberries sounds good. We got strawberries at Costco yesterday because I know we will go through these in just a few days. Um, but I think we're gonna have extra oranges like this left over. And so I think these are easy to put into our suitcases, not our suitcases, our carry-on bag. And we'll just do a little zip, like a Ziploc bag and put these in there. I'm gonna cut up some apples. I'm also gonna cut up some cucumbers, or not cucumbers, some peppers. And strawberries to make a whole little thing for myself and then I think I still have these little um, ranch packet little containers that I can take to have something extra on the plane and then they, they, they will serve us a meal um, I just like to have fresh things when I can so but again I can't pack any of that I can't do anything about it I can't. <laughs> just just sitting here it's funner when Jason is home because like even if you're gonna go run an errand and eating a hot dog at the boat launch it's still something to go do so a little bored and i don't have a dog here today i don't even have a dog here to hang out with all right i went to target and didn't find what i wanted i have lost my hang on i've lost my wallet water bottle well i don't think i lost it i think ashley lost it and so i went to see if i could find a new one I hope it was on sale they were on sale so they didn't have any so they only had the small like 20 ounce ones so I roamed all of Target just to see if Target would speak to me and it didn't it didn't and now I feel bad that I'm not doing anything and the Sun is still blue or the sky is still blue so I just decided for well see I need to put you down but I'm gonna just try and straighten up out here. I'm not gonna even like rake out there, but I am going to sweep it off. And I can't like, eventually when the sun really has come out, I'm gonna take the whole rug up, um, hose it off, and uh, even like lay it up over the table here um, so that it can like fully dry and get cleaned off. But it's too, it's too early for that. Um, so this isn't gonna take me very long. I'm not gonna do too much. But I also have these buckets out here. <laughs> I 
We put them out here so long ago. I wonder if this one even has water in it. Let's see if this one is truly water. Nope. There's water in there. They're filthy. So, I'm just going to clean up a little bit. Um, when we get back, hopefully it'll be really nice spring weather. So, it'll we'll want to come back out here and hang out. At least start to for an hour or two a day um, while it's actually sunny like this. So, oh, that's just, just gross. Maybe I'll wash that off. That's probably just all pollen on there. It's a bigger project than I really am gonna put forward today because there's really no point to doing a ton, but I'm gonna empty these buckets right there, sweep off that main part and right here and then wipe, I'm probably just gonna wipe that off and call it good. Not perfect but it swept off I did end up pulling out the little pressure washer it's not a true pressure washer it's just an attachment on the hose but I need to go and research for when we get back how to get this like mildew off because I don't want to ruin the whole paint job that we did last spring there's got to be a way to get this off without like throwing bleach on and then ruining all my plants and trees so I'm not gonna do that today but I'm going to go and research. But I also have the buckets emptied out. Um, maybe I'll, I don't know, spray those out real quick while I have the hose out. And then I'm just going to tuck them into the garage um, to dry out. And then I'll clean them, clean them, like, later on. The one plus side is it looks somewhat decent from afar. <laughs> And the buckets are put away. I have them drying in the garage. And uh, as soon as I figure out what to do with the actual like mildew, I'll probably do the same thing for the buckets. But this will do until we actually come out for spring cleaning and raking and weeding and that kind of stuff. So, plus I think we'll pull out the cushions for that pretty soon after we get back. Okay, I have done a little bit of research. I don't have any cleaning product. Well, they, Jason actually has a mold. Um, he has a mold sprayer that he uses for the roof. Look at the backyard. I cleaned it a little bit, but I need to get the mold cleaned out. The mold. The mold and algae from the back patio. That's uh, um, Yeah, all the green out there. It looks fine. No, it doesn't. It's it's mold. Well, it's I didn't think this color of concrete was good, but I still dealt with it. Well, it's not, <laughs> but um, I did look at some YouTube videos myself. Oh, come on, flip, flip. Well, I'm looking at an upside down picture, but I'm not upside down for you. <laughs> um, I don't, I think Jason might have a mold spray. He actually might have a mold powder that he uses for the, the roof. Um, otherwise, I might just go try a little patch with vinegar. Um, when I get back, Ashley is going to go to her friend's house for her little play date and dinner. She invited you to dinner. Did you know that, Ash? Who? Her, Willa's mom invited you to stay for dinner. Oh. Because it gives them a little extra 
playtime. Um, she's making you spaghetti. I'll eat it. You'll eat it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I luckily have a large thing of vinegar. So I might go just chuck a bunch of that. Yeah, do it. Do you want to do it right now for me? Just kind of don't do it near the rug. Just do it out by the... But don't get it into the, the bushes and stuff. Careful, 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 careful. Don't use a lot of it. I just want you to like go... Ew. What? I hate the smell of vinegar. I know, it's potent. Okay, just go out to that spot out there. Like, hang on, hang on. <laughs> we'll turn around so that I'm not just looking at your butt. Okay, there we go. I'm just smelling vinegar. Well, you're, you can wash your hands. You're not getting it on you. Okay. Yeah, not into the... T <laughs> Ashley. Okay, yeah, do it right there. And then I'm just going to let it sit for a minute. Well, I take you to your friend's house, and then I might grab the broom, and uh, I'm not gonna put it on the counter. That's gonna ruin the table. Okay. Okay, I'm what? dropping you off at your friend's house. What? But I wish so, I get so <laughs> bored. I know you do, and I wanted. I was showing them your desk and how messy it was, but this is what you've been making. Show me all your ones that you've made. So this is like a skincare thing. Okay. I keep seeing them, and then there's another skincare thing. Um, makeup, <laughs> uh, sleep mask, <laughs> uh, sunscreen, okay, um, hand sanitizer, moisturizer, uh, the milk jelly, a whole bag, um, down there. a milk jelly blush, another touch plant, and a another moisturizer. They're funny. So you brought them all to show your friends? Yeah, because they no, they have some too. I bought them to start making them. Okay. You're so funny. Cause I got so You're important. creative, it's fine. All right. And I'll make it as a support bag. <laughs> you can put black on the outside of it? Yeah, and then the logo's gonna be support and nine-year-olds. <laughs> I tried getting our- Cause you're almost 11. Yeah. Yeah. And I tried getting our teacher to um, do our fun run name. Yeah. The Sephora 10-year-olds. Yeah. And she and she's gonna she was gonna be the worker, but she said no. You're funny. Okay, have fun. All right. Well, I did go to try and find my. It's starting to rain. Find my uh, water bottle at the community center. So I think I left it with Ashley at one point. It was not there. We even like dug into the storage room, lost and found. Couldn't find it. So. And I had, I looked around at home. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I was worried about that. That's unfortunate. I got a size bigger. I might get a bigger, I might get a smaller one. That's a really big bummer. But it's not for here in the car. It's for, one, for our trip. And for water bottle. For like, hikes. And when I go to the gym, work out whatever oh I was really worried about that because the other one barely fits I'm gonna take it home see if I can find the other one I'm gonna check a few more places at home I need one for this trip and everyone else has their own so I can't borrow one from someone the thing I like about the Owala water bottles is one the handle and two that it's a push open and the Stanley's have a sip cup straw that like you have to force it up and it's really hard and annoying I like I'm used to that little push button so I don't know and I need drinking to be easy and I'll drink a ton but um I'm gonna go and see if I can find it I only have a short amount of time before we have to go so running out of options Target did not have it today um I might actually trade that in for the smaller one I actually, okay, I'm gonna take that one home. I'm gonna try to find my old one. I'm also gonna try and see if this one fits in my backpack, in my little water bottle spot in my backpack. If it doesn't fit in the backpack, then there's no point in having this bigger one. And I can trade it out for the smaller one because I have to have it fit in my backpack. Like there's no question about that. So that is like my final like yay or nay on keeping that water bottle. I got the bigger one in case I find my old one later on 
um, so that I have two different sizes. So I don't have the exact same one, same size, but um, the bigger one might not have as many perks as I thought it would. Okay, here's the true test right here. I'm annoyed it doesn't fit my uh, cup holder in the car. So, let's see. All right, well, it goes in there. All right, it works. I'm not gonna use it right away. I'm just gonna, uh, I'll wash it eventually. Probably the day before, day we leave, probably. The day we leave, I'll go ahead and wash it and pack it. Put it in here like this, empty. But it does work in there. Bothered that it doesn't fit my cup holder, but I don't take this one in my car with me. I just take it on my walks, so it can just sit on the seat. But, all right, I just don't know where. <laughs> and I'm just looking around. You're getting another sneak peek here, people. I don't know where that water bottle could have gone. Still trying to find it. And by the way, sneak peek for birthdays coming earlier than we even thought they were gonna come earlier. We're doing it earlier than that. And the man is him. The man has arrived. I feel like crap. I know, he's starting to feel sick. So I'm gonna go take a shower and then I gotta get warm. Let's there's the ice box in here. I accidentally left this window and the window down in my office open. Yeah, it's cold. But it fits in my bag. Oh, all right, hallelujah. I got a discount on it. No, don't shut that one. I like the room cold. <laughs> Your husband is sick. Oh, I, I'm i still sick and I didn't have that much sympathy. Mm, love you. Love you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you schmuck! You, yeah, you heard me. The fact that he laughed, he heard me. I actually remembered to say goodnight to you guys. It's been a long day. Jason's already in bed. He feels like either he just didn't get enough sleep. This is my side. This is my side. That's your side. If you would like a clean side, clean it. Get away from my side. Get out of my chair. I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys and leave my camera here. I'm gonna go get birthday stuff tomorrow. What birthday stuff have I already done? Birthday donut. Pink sprinkle. Or the spring ones that they might have. Yeah. This is my chair and my desk. I want Twinkies get again. Get the get the garbage. Can I have Twinkies again? I don't know. Get the garbage and let, put my pen away. This is not your desk. Okay? You can take that upstairs. Can you get my medicine? Yes, because you need to come up so that dad doesn't get woken up. Also, his dad followed up with his regular doctor today, and he's all good. So what? He had to go to the emergency room at 3 in the morning. Why? <laughs> That's why Dad's so tired. His oh. heart was feeling funny. Yeah, yeah Dad's really you. tired. You can stay up if you clean this stuff. If not, let's go to bed now. Is this Willa? Yeah. Oh, cute. I printed a photo, cute. and she was in the corner of it, so then I just bed. Okay. Are we going to bed? Let's just go to bed. Good night, you guys.